Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another um, cinch bound album to share with you guys, another school themed one, this time using a different paper collection um, called School Time by Die Cuts with a View. So this is the album that I created. Oh my goodness, I love making these guys and I still have 15 more full size sheets in here. So enough to make, um, some other projects still, um, yeah, still plenty of paper um, to use. This time in this album, so last time my album was, you know, pink and girly. This time I tried to not include any of the pink colors just to make it a little bit more um, for a boy. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but that way, you know, it could be either boy or girl. Because school colors are school colors. And although I love the addition of pink in here, not everybody wants pink in their... Um, school themed album so um like i said i still have 15 sheets in here so plenty of um, paper to make another album but i do feel very proud of myself for killing a lot of this paper pad so far it's a 48 sheet or sorry not even 36 sheet <laughs> paper pad it's getting ahead of myself i was getting extra proud um but i still have plenty of sheets so i'm only about halfway done with it Man, it started to feel really thin. I thought I was, I used up a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started and I'll show you guys what I created. So like I said, this is a school um, album and it is cinch bound. So I will link my cinch down below. Um, and I will link the tutorial, um, down below as well. I have like another kind of tutorial, um, on my channel when I made my engagement album and the process is the same. So you guys could check that out if you guys are interested in the tutorial part. Um, it's like a four part process video of me making like a cinch bound kind of album. It was also my first one, but it's pretty much, it's like the same process. Okay. So here for this one, I um, have this cut apart that says on the front, it says I'm crushing the school thing. There is a tag here that you could pull out and you could write the child's name or you could just write the grade that they were in at the time of like putting these photos in here. Um, so that just lives behind this cut apart. I do have a ribbon closure here. I've got a fall leather spine and I'm going to try to link that down below as well. And then here's the back side with my handmade logo sticker. Um, and then when you open this up, this is what it looks like. So here I just have a tuck spot. This is actually ephemera from like some vintage school collection that I had in my stash. It's like the only ephemera I had. Um, so that's that. And I just put like a photo mat in there. You could obviously put in whatever you want. Um, here it says first day of school. This opens up and it comes out so you could add a photo there and a photo to the back as well. Um, and you could also do journaling. So you could do journal, photo, and then photo to the back, however you want to do it. And then obviously you could add more photos here. Um, this flips. I have this paper clipped here. It says number one teacher. And you could just add in like your photo here and whatnot. And that's super cute. I just kind of like to slide it in there, but obviously you could glue it in there if you want to. So for now I have it paper clipped, but I think this is just like a fun, cool feature. You could just slide it in and slide it out. Um, so I like that. Here I have another ephemera that says A plus student. Here's a tag that says my ABCs. And the back side is plain white, so you could do some journaling on there. Then this flips open and I have a pullout tag in here with some seam binding. The seam binding is from my scrap cabin shop and the back side is white for journaling. So I have that in there. Then that closes. And then the next page, you could add um, another photo mat here um, or like add your photo here. <laughs> here I have a pocket with a journal card and a cut apart. You could add a photo to the back of the cut apart and just do some journaling on here. So that lives in there. Then here I have an example of like how you could do like your layout. So here you're gonna place your photos directly on the white photo mat, but I did include just a couple of examples so you could see how you would add in your photos. I mean, the opportunities are endless. You could do collaging however you wanna do it, but these are just some examples. 
Um, so these are two photos that measure two and a half by three and a half. And I do have a cute little pullout tag here with the white backside. So you could do some journaling on that. And I just thought that was adorable. So that lives right behind that photo. I used one of the four by six cut aparts here. So you could do some journaling on this part and then add a photo to the back. Um, with this paper, because I didn't use the one that had the pink, which had like some lines on it, I did just include a couple of like regular lined pages in here. So I don't know, is that considered junk journal style? <laughs> kind of journal style? I don't know. Maybe not junk journal style, maybe just journal style. Uh, I don't know guys, but, um, yeah, so I just added in some lined pages in here. This is one and there's another one in here somewhere as well. But obviously you also have all the space like in these photo mats where you could journal on the back. So you could always add a photo and do journaling underneath and however you want to do it. Um, like that one you could also just do for journaling if you just want all journaling and then add photos here. Um, however, you know, it's really up to the person that's adding the photos. You could add another photo here. I have another cut apart here that looks like that. And there's one on the back side here also. So then there's a journal card. Then here I have some more cut aparts. Learning is a treasure that will follow you everywhere and a pencil. And those just live in this pocket here. Then here it says a class act. You could add your photo directly onto this white photo map. I made a cute little pocket here. And inside of here, I just have a regular photo map, a cut apart and a tag that you could journal on. So those all just live in like the side loading pocket right there. And then this flips out like so. So you could add photo and photo there. Then this goes back the other way. You could add another photo back here. Here I have a cut apart that says never judge a book by its cover. And this does open up like so. So you could do journaling or add a photo on top or add a photo photo. And then you could do journal on the tag. So however you want to do it. And that just tucks right behind this, um, that like cut apart that I have there. And then this also opens like so. So you have more opportunities for photos. Um, then here it says Brainiac. I just have this like tag, um, just meant to do a little bit of journaling. And then I would probably just tuck in some photos underneath this as well. Um, here I have this larger cut apart that says school rules and you could just add a photo to the back and then you could add a photo underneath as well. And that's just paper clipped in here also. Then the next page, it's this cute like lunch paper. I thought that's adorable. And then here you could journal about what your kids' favorite lunches are for the school year or whatever it is, or just add a photo of them eating a lunch. Like you could journal about anything. You could journal about school memories. You could, it doesn't have to be just about the lunch because the lunch paper is there, but it could be about literally any of your child's school experiences. Um, maybe a teacher texted you something or emailed you something and you were so proud or whatever it is you could just add it in here and i thought this was like so cute because you could do all the photos and all the journaling and then when your kid is older um you could give this album like to them and then they could enjoy it for years to come um so this is just another lined page that i included here i have a another photo mat and I made a cute little tag in there with white backside to do some more journaling. Um, then this flips this way and this is left open so you could still add like your photo behind it. Um, you could add another photo here and then this one flips this way like so. So more opportunities for photos. Another paper clipped um, cut apart and then this flips this way. So, so much space for photos guys. <laughs> um, more space back here. Here I just have a belly band with a tag. Obviously you could put photos into that belly band as well. And this just says student hall pass. Um, so then you flip this, you could add another photo here. Um, then here I have another double layout. It says back to the books. You could add your photos. These are not um, stuck down over the photo so you could still slide your photo in there. And then I have this pull out insert where you could write stuff on the back or add more photos and feel free to add more photos in just like these pockets as well you could totally add in some four by six photos in these pockets so that's always an option then this next page you've got this cut apart here I have a tuck spot that says play nice work hard and stay kind and I just have that um, a tag there you used to some scrappies 
added a ribbon and it's a white backside for journaling or photos and that just tucks right back in here then this next page looks like so got another pocket here with some more goodies i've got this cute little like notebook that you could do some uh, journaling on the back or add a photo um i've got this card I've got this tag and then this journal card also so lots of space to make this your own and also to just be able to and decorate and whatnot so those live in that pocket then this next page you could add photos photos more photos all the photos more photos and then back here this is the back inside cover it just says school memories and there's a cute little tag there so you could just do some more journaling on there so that is everything guys that is my whole um school album using the school time collection by die cuts with a view i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you like it um, i'm gonna have links to whatever i could find down below in the description box so check that out including the paper collection and paper pad if i could find it um so that is everything thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next crafty video i'll talk to you soon bye